not back from the desolation of smog. I saw it in 48 frames per second. Um, this is the first film I've ever watched in 48 frames per, per second. And I can just say that, wow. You know, I know that a lot of people complain that they didn't like the first movie in 48 frames per second. And they said that it gave them headaches and, you know, the 3D wasn't that great. In fact, when my friend Sean saw the first movie in uh, IMAX in 3D at 48 frames per second, and he said he didn't enjoy um, the 3D and then it made him dizzy and everything, but... I, I didn't watch it in IMAX, but I did watch it, um, you know, the second film, Desolation of Smog, in 48 frames per second, and I saw the first one in 24 frames per second, and now finally I've watched the second film in 48 frames per second. So let me just get down to the core of it. Um, I, I want to give my full, you know, review and tell you guys what I think. Well, first of all, the movie looks fantastic in 48 frames per second. Um, it, you know, it takes a little bit getting used to when you start watching it because it's the first film that you've probably ever watched in 48 frames per second. But the detail, and, and, and I think it actually makes the 3D better because this is the best looking uh, 3D film I've ever seen. And the only thing that I could compare it to is like a 3D film at like Disney World or Universal Studios. Um, this is just amazing 3D. Uh, the 48 frames per second really does add to it. And I really did enjoy this film. I really did like it. And let me just say that it was amazing. Now, my favorite of all time dragon film ever made is of course dragon heart i like this movie more than dragon heart uh the first uh, hobbit film um i really did enjoy uh, i thought it was fantastic um it, it gave an introduction to the characters but basically that's what it is it's an introduction where this film is just pure action. <laughs> um, the first Hobbit film is kind of like, uh, you know, the first Lord of the Rings film. Where there's not as much action as, you know, the second movie. Where this film is just pure action. Smog in this film is fantastic. It is amazing. The CGI is mind blowing. It's like boom, it like blows your head up, y'all. Um, the set design, the work that went into this movie, the scenery, the 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 music, everything about this film is is phenomenal. It is the. <sighs> I, I can't even say if I think this movie is the best of out of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but I would say it's pretty damn up there between Return of the King and this movie for me. Uh, if you could ask me, what do you like better, Return of the King or this film? I'd be like, I don't know, they're both really good. And this movie is awesome. No, seriously. I have to tell you guys, you got to see this movie. I don't care. Um, my friend uh, Brian, he kind he kind of refuses to watch the Lord of the Rings films because he thought that The Hobbit should only be made into like two movies. And uh, you know I can respect that, but and a lot of people think that too. That, that The Hobbit should have been made into three movies. But when you see this movie, let me just say this right out here, in my review, right now. When you see this movie, your mind will be changed. Now, I'm not saying that the first film was for everybody, because not everybody's going to like the first film. It's the, you know, the first film is really an introduction to the characters. 
where this film is where the action starts. And, you know, e even if you didn't like the first film, or you weren't sure about The Hobbit, I would say, if you want pure action, skip the first movie and just go to this one. Because this movie is amazing. And, and I really did like the first movie. I I not have any problem with it, but um, my dad actually feels that this film is way better than the first film, and I respect that, and I, I kind of agree that a lot of people are going to enjoy this film even more than the first movie, and I understand that, but I got to say, this film is, <laughs> it's action-packed. There is a scene where an arrow goes through two like heads and everything like the gore is is a is amazing i mean there's two beheadings in this movie this movie is um you know i think it's a rated pg-13 but it, it goes over the ratings board i don't know how they got past this with the censors because there's so much violence and gore in this movie it's non-stop action-packed full of gore to the top notch. I mean, holy crow. Um, the 3D is fantastic. It really adds to it, actually, um, for a th uh, theatrical experience. There's a scene where it snows, and you just feel like you're right there. I would suggest to see this in 48 frames per second because the 3D really draws you in. Um, I did not feel dizzy at all watching this film. I didn't feel taken out of the experience because I thought everything looked too real or whatever, no. In fact, I thought it really added to the experience seeing this at 48 frames per sec. Would I suggest buying this film? Hell yes. But you know what? I'm waiting for the box set because I cannot wait to see there and back again. Because this movie uh, got my heart uh, racing. The first movie really let me you know, learn who the characters were. And this film is just like a slam dunk punch right in the face. You know, it's like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. And it doesn't feel like three hours. If Like, time flies by watching this movie. I felt like I was only two hours in, and then it was like, boom, the end. And then I'm like, holy crow, I can't wait to see they're back again. And that's how good it is. Words cannot describe. Orlando Bloom was amazing in this film. You know, this is just a phenomenal movie. Everybody has to see this. Seriously. It is gory to the extreme of uh, probably one of the goriest, you know, films in the trilogy. Really great. I really enjoyed this. Definitely go see this. And uh, to the, you know, the naysayers and the haters out there, please. Please watch this movie. You will change your opinion. If anybody is like, oh, why did Peter Jackson made into three movies? See this movie, and then you'll be like, yeah, I gotta see the next one. That's how good it is. All the naysayers are gonna change their opinions when they see this movie. Peter Jackson did a fantastic job capturing everything down to the core. It's fantastic. 10 out of 10, go see it. And have an awesome night, everyone.